Hey YouTube, it's Tim here. Wanted to show you guys my new uh, controller gizmo that I made to control my uh, Grizzly G0759 milling machine. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. Want to just briefly show it to you. Um, this thing adds automation to a manual mill and it, it's got quite a few features packed into it that makes it really easy uh, to use the milling machine. Um, my intention was not to try to replace CNC. CNC is awesome. Someday I'll, I'll have one of my own. But this thing does allow you to um, program operations and can automatically run them on the milling machine. It stores 112 operations. Each operation can be up to approximately 290 moves and there's a lot of other features so it's kind of cool but um, over here so I, I, I design electronic you know embedded stuff obviously and uh, I write software and assembly language so if I can help any of you guys out there with anything you know please let me know and if you're interested in maybe having me build one of these for you you know let me know I'd be happy to on the left side of this thing we have uh, a push button push on and off and then this is all machined out of aluminum. Uh, this is black anodized, bright dip black anodized. Pretty happy how that came out. On the back of the thing, there is two RJ45 jacks there. The, let me get my bearings. Yeah, the first one, this one over here. Um, power goes into there. And also step and direction for the Z axis comes out. This jack over here, step and direction signals for the X and the Y axis. And down here, there's two uh, 824 tapped holes so that you can make uh, a really nice, you know, mounting bracket for it. That's going to provide a real sturdy mount support there. So um, on this side, this end, we have... Over here, there's a programming port, so I can plug in my interface, and I don't have to take it apart to update the software, which is really nice. Then there's a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack right there. And um, I'm going to uh, rig up like a handheld you know, push button on the end for emergency stop. And um, But I might actually there's two contacts there because it's a stereo jack, so I might actually do something else with that too. I could probably switch that around in software. This guy here is an RJ45. Uh, that is an RS485 uh, port for communication to other equipment. I'm not sure what I might do with that. At the moment, I have a few ideas floating around, but uh, wanted to give it a way to communicate to other equipment, so that'll be cool for in the future. And then over here, there's a Phoenix connector for, for uh, position. Two of these are is an isolated relay contact that comes out that you can include in your program to either turn the spindle on or perhaps coolant or whatever you want to do with it. And then uh, the other two positions, there's plus 5 volts and there's a collector of a transistor and you can enable that in part of the program as well. So if you had like clear path servo motors, you could uh, use that as an enable signal. And so on the front of this thing, you have a um, rotary encoder right there with a push to enter. You can use that to scroll through you know, a bunch of the different menus and stuff. And then uh, these push buttons are super nice. They're expensive, but I like to use good parts um, I don't build junk. These have RGB LEDs behind them so you can light them up in different colors which is super cool. This keypad over here I really like. I found this thing. It's got a just a great feel. It's made out of stainless steel so it's it's high quality. And um, over here I've got your go button and your emergency stop. These light up. This is a nice quality joystick that I found. It has a real nice feel, works well. And I've got a 20 character two line OLED LED display, which I really like those. I don't know why more people aren't using those. Um, 
And so, you know, you, one of the things you can do is, of course, jog shuttle mode. You can move the table and stuff around. And when you're doing that, I light up like a bar graph display up here to give you a visual indication of how fast you're moving, which is really important on the slower speeds anyway. But, um... So stay tuned for some more videos. I'm going to start doing some more videos, show the thing in operation, and, um, and uh, hope you'll join me. Thank you. Take care. And by the way, the cases for my controller gizmo were all machined by the controller gizmo. With the exception of the large hole for the joystick, that I bored manually. But um, everything else was programmed and ran automatically. It was pretty cool. See you go.